What is cracking? Found my exit back here with another video. Now, quickly, before we jump in, a big, big thank you to those that have liked, subscribed, and commented. You guys are the true MVPs. Gym Heroes is still our vintage set of the month and our giveaway is still running. So go ahead and throw your guesses in the comments for that randomly selected Pokemon from Gym Heroes. And here's a little sneak peek into the prizes that those two lucky winners will gain. Two of these slabs will be given away to those winners. Go ahead and enjoy the video today. Waka waka. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, part two. <laughs> They're opening as many tins as it takes to profit from one. 22 Australian dollars these tins cost. That Elsa Sparkle and Charizard tin from part one got to like $20 total, I'm pretty sure. It was like so close to beating that $22. So I'm not a liar. We will continue. I've already ripped the plastic off these three to get it a bit quicker and moving in the right direction. So we will continue. I've got another 12 tins here. Can we get profit in those 24 tins? Or will I have to go make a part three and drive up to my nearest Coles Express and see if they have any more of these tins around? Um, sorry about the noise. You will get some when I am throwing the tins to the side. Um, but I promise you that's not as painful as the money that I am continually losing on these tins. So we'll throw tin number 13 up in the corner as we continue from the 12 that we originally got. Um, and hopefully, waka, 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 we can do something better because I am going crazy. I'm losing my mind. Um, I definitely thought, you know, somewhere in that range of 12 tins, we would find a profitable one. I mean, we were close on two. Two of them were pretty close, one closer than the other. Um, but look, let's let's crack it. We need to get profit. It wasn't close enough, that other tin that I got, as we start with an Inteleon V. So a stronger start here with tin 13 than we did with our first, like, nine or first seven or eight tins. I think nine was a good, good one and 10 was a good one. And then the rest were, like, fairly mediocre. All right, shout out to my boy Piplup. Let's get into pack number two. I thought we had a hit, but it was just that V-Star card that absolutely sent me astray. We'll get down to business here as we go through this pack of brilliant stars. We have a no-hitter. Thought we were going to go back-to-back -back there with a V-Card. We go into Evolving Skies. Let's do it. Let's just pull one of those big dogs from Evolving Skies um, and make it happen as we have a very off-center starting card there. Um, we'll get into it. Let's go. All right, I'm trying to not do any side peeking today. I don't want to know when Pack has a hit in it or not. We have a reverse holo. Maybe I should start counting like all of the bulk and reverse hollows to get a profit, but... Um, no, it's just a standard holo rare there. Even if I counted that reverse holo Pikachu, we still probably wouldn't have profited at all. So we'll throw those three over to the side. Tin number 13 is another ba <clears throat> All right, so again, just for the purpose of this video, I don't think I even need to say it, to be honest. Like, I was gonna say I'll open six tins at a minimum, but I already know, I already got a bad feeling. I've got a bad feeling we're not gonna profit again. There's not gonna be one tin in here that profits. I see some of you other um, content creators out there that have opened these tins and have pulled like, you know, your Gengars and all that stuff. Maybe my whinging, maybe my whinging has brought something here. I, I can't help myself. My eyes naturally go to it. There is something shiny in this pack. All right, let's go through it. Psychic energy. I mean, it is the psychic set with the Gengars, with the Muse. What have we got in Fusion Strike? It is gonna just stand to be a V card. It's Inteleon V again. <laughs> oh man, tin number 13. No, sorry, tin number 14 we are on. Tin number 14 started the same as tin number 13 with the Inteleon V here. Let's get into Brilliant Stars. <clears throat> See if we can do something other than take losses. We've had not the best luck on the channel lately. So, I mean, actually it depends when this video drops. Um, maybe there will be something lucky that you will see prior to this video dropping. But 
from a modern perspective, we've had very little luck. Modern being Sun and Moon X, Y, uh, sorry, by that I mean Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, I won't spoil anything. There's another video coming, hopefully, that I think will drop before this video, to be honest. But we did pull something kind of spicy, so I gotta stop complaining. Just these tins. In a tin sense, we've had very little luck. Tin number 14, I believe this one was, is gonna be another dud. All right, well, that's disappointing. We'll crack into the third, sorry about that, the third tin of the video so far with the dark ray. And we will see what we can get from these. Sorry, I don't think I showed that code card, um, my bad, but I will remember to show the ones inside as we have one here for you. I do understand now a little bit more why Cool Trainer Iron flicks code cards. It's um, it's quite enjoyable actually. So maybe I should copy him and get a backboard and start flicking my code cards. I feel like I'd like no offense, Cool Trainer Iron, but I do feel like I would outflick you any day of the week. Um, it was quite a skill of mine from my younger years. Um, but yeah. Probably all I would beat him in. His collection is killer and all of his other stuff would absolutely decimate my Pokemon collecting. But it's not a competition. It's not a competition as we get a non holo rare. Tin number 15, I believe we are on. Tin number 15 is gonna be an absolute bath, I feel. Um, this pack is just falling apart like Swiss cheese. Um, hopefully that means that it's um, not smelly, but Oh man, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Can't see any hits on the side. Not getting excited. Very stressed out that I'm gonna take another bath on 12 more tins. I thought this would be a funner challenge, trying to see how many tins does it take to open to get profit. It's only 22 bucks. I mean, like, you only need one mediocre hit to do that. As I reach down and grab <clears throat> my next sealed tin. 16 with the code card there. Let's get into it. We are pulling an alt art, changing happiness, changing everything, making these tins profitable. Let's pay for all the tins I bought in this batch with some big alt art. All right, the fire energy for the Charizard we're about to see with that <laughs> standard hollow rare. It's definitely not a Charizard alt art. The weirdest Charizard alt art I've ever seen. Uh, look, really appreciate, a side note, really, really, really appreciate everyone that has uh, liked, subscribed, and joined in the fun of the videos. It's gotten involved in the giveaway for the vintage set of the month. Not obviously giving that vintage set of the month away. Um, I'm not that much of a baller, but <clears throat> if the prizes haven't been announced by this video yet, I'll give you a little hint. Uh, one of the prizes is a slab, so a graded card. And the other prize is, oh, we won't give that one away yet. We'll leave some mystery, okay? So one of the prizes, which is gonna be the person who guessed first what the mystery Pokemon was, uh, is gonna get a slab, so a graded card. So congratulations to that person. Um, and yeah, another hint for those watching. So I, I gave a hint in a different video. I don't know how many videos are left in the, the cycle of that vintage set. Probably not many by the time this video drops, but the hint um, as that tin is not profitable, that was tin 16, I believe. I will, I believe that was 16, yes, tin 16. So we're on to tin 17. Right, there's the code card. Now, the, the hint that I was giving away whilst fast forwarding that tin opening um, was that the Pokemon, the mystery Pokemon has been guessed. Someone has guessed it. Um, so you've got the hint from another video that I gave <clears throat> and that hint there, which should allow you to kind of decipher whatever limited guesses you may have left by the time this video drops, as we got the Lucario Hollow there to chase down profit in tin number 16, 17, 17. Um, yeah, so that hint, another hint there for you. Maybe I'll drop another hint in this video because this is likely gonna drop very close to 
um, the end of that vintage sets period, but I'll see, I'll see. Watch along and find out. Yeah, that's the hint for this video is that it has been guessed. Somebody indeed has guessed what the Pokemon is. Look, I'll extend that hint for you actually, as I feel like this will be late in the mix. It has been guessed by more than one person. And by the time this video drops, who knows, maybe many, many people, but um, definitely by more than one person. as we have the slacking hollow there from Evolving Skies. Unless that's worth $22, we have definitely not profited from that Snorlax tin. Um, and we will have to go into tin number 18. All right, tin number 18. With our three packs, let's totally mix up the order and start with Evolving Skies because that's going to change our luck. We're going to pull a Moonbreon and we're going to be done with it. We're going to profit from this tin and absolutely profit. As I see, there is nothing shiny in the side of this pack. All right, tin number 18 is starting not well. So we'll get this bulk off to the side and get into Brilliant Stars and that will be the last time I flip the order of the pack openings. Um, this pack doesn't want to open. Doesn't want to open. What's inside? What is inside? Had a little peek on the side again and I'm very upset about it. Alright, Fire Pack. Shout out to my boy Piplup. Moving through the pack, we have a Boss's Order Hollow. <clears throat> That's definitely not going to help us too much, apart from a dollar or so on the tally for tin number 18. Yeah, tin number 18. All right, Fusion Strike. Let's get through it. This tin's going to be a dud. Tin, tin number 18. Probably going to be another dud. Why do I keep on opening tins? What is wrong with me? As we have a non-holo rare with a Zera Aura. All right, all right. Stop being negative. Stop being negative. <clears throat> tin number 19. All right, tin number 19 for the profit. Let's do it. Brilliant stars. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Can't just be those two tins that we had in part one that were close. One of them was like a couple of dollars off. Like, I swear, why wouldn't no one have just profited? I could have thrown this challenge in the bin and been done with it. And gone back to opening mystery boxes. At least with mystery boxes, I have a chance of pulling a vintage pack often. But maybe I'll go and open a vintage I'll, I'll go and open a nostalgia rare mystery box after this just to make myself feel better. Because even if I take a loss on those, I enjoy them no matter what. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right, all right. What are we on? Tin number 19. Tin number 19. As we get through. Don't know. Yeah, that's that's not that's not gonna cut the mustard, right? It's not going to cut the mustard. Come on. Just not going to say anything. Let's open this Evolving Skies pack. Where we'll get, likely, a non holo rare. Alright, how many times in this video will I have to tell myself to not be negative as we get the... Hollow rare, okay. It proved me wrong. I said non hollow rare and we got a hollow rare. That's very nice. Tin number 20. What are we? Dark ray tin. All right, tin number 20. Let's get into it. We have our fusion strike pack. All right. Just going to enjoy opening some packs 
Who cares what's in them? No longer a how many tins we have to open before we profit challenge. This is now a, let's just have a bit of fun. Did I already do the card trick? Might have just doubled the card trick. No, I did not. Butterfree. We have the Butterfree Hollow to kick off before we head into our next pack. Let's let's see what Brilliant Stars has in store. As get that code card and flip into this one. Let me head up to the shops and go buy some more of these tins because I don't know if I'm going to be able to accept defeat <laughs> and not find how many tins it takes to profit. But we'll see, we'll see. Still four more tins, four more tins. And you know, any big hit from any of these sets can do it. So, thought I saw a miscut card there, but it was wrong. Hands are failing me as we have that non-hollow rare. Tin number 20 was not the one. Tin number 20 was not the one. 21. Tin number 21. Wow, you should see the pile of tins that are next to me. It's just a graveyard of non-profitable tins. All right, moving into the first pack of Brilliant Stars here. Well, not the first pack, the only pack of Brilliant Stars. Now, Fusion Strike, Tin 21. And that opened very unusually. Um, maybe I just got a bunch of like Reese. Coles Express is just running some little side gig and re-gluing all their packs, resealing them all, and just making an absolute mint out of these tins. Taking all the Gengars and Moonbryons and Zards for themselves as we have a hollow rare. <clears throat> Alright, probably got like $3.50 on the scoreboard. Maybe $4. That means we need an $18 plus dollar hit out of this pack of Evolving Skies, which can easily be done. We know how many good hits there are in this set. We know how many that are above that $20 threshold. No hitter, 21 was not the one. That means we go again. We go again. Tin number 22. Tin number 22. Fusion Strike. Oh man, it's been so long since we've had a good hit. So long, I can't even remember what a good hit feels like. What's a good hit feel like? Well, there we go, we got a V card, a Genesect V. Couple of more dollars, so we're probably at like four bucks, around that three, four dollar mark from the total. Um, and two packs to go, so positive thoughts here. Feel free to chuck in the comments what's your, what's been your favorite like video type that we've done? Mystery box challenge, prize beat challenge, set battles, or you know, something unique, maybe one of the ones that we've done that's not really a, a, a common type of video. Um, we've also got some cool mystery box ones coming up that I'm sure I have told you about, but some very cool mystery box openings coming up soon um, for the channel, so. I know those are generally liked. Like mystery boxes are fun for me. So much fun to make the mystery box ones. So I definitely will be making more of those. All right, so nothing there to continue that V that we got. So that's definitely not a profitable tin there for tin number 22. 
Yeah. Twin. Tin number 23. With the Mimikyu. Promo card on the scoreboard. And let's see what is in Fusion Strike. So we have a no-hitter pack there from Fusion Strike. I'm starting to get a mountain of bulk pile next to me. Hopefully it doesn't decide to go south as we have brilliant stars. All right, let's peek it. Is it a standard V or does it have texture? You tell me. Ah, uh, could go either way. I think I think a standard V. Might be a trainer gallery V. It is brilliant stars. All right, let's find out. Four cards. We've got no markings on the back. Oh no, we do. It's a V card. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's just a V. Those markings I've talked about in other videos were on the back, so I know it's not an alt art, and it is just a standard V. Um, the Lumion V there. All right, definitely not going to be breaking that total through 22. So it is down to you, Evolving Skies, on tin number 23. Tin number 23, and we haven't profited. That is just crazy. It's outrageous. Outrageous. Alright, getting down to the business end of this Evolving Skies pack, we have a no hitter. I really, I honestly, I really thought that in 24 packs, 24 tins, sorry, not packs, that we would have hit profit, to be honest. I thought, like, we only need one card to hit profit. One card from any three of these sets of significant value. I mean, the biggest hit card I think we've had across the 24 tins, or 23 so far. All right, I probably fast forwarded what I was saying there. Tin number 24, 23 tins so far, no profit. The biggest hit that we've had is, I think a 12, $13 trainer card, um, which surprises me. That really, really, really surprises me. I thought 24 tins, we have to hit profit in 24 tins across one. And I potentially, unless it's this one, am wrong. And then, because I can't ever accept defeat, even though I am losing, I'm probably gonna have to go and buy more of these tins and do a part three. Fusion Strike. Can you do it for us in tin number 24? Can number 24 be the one? Could you be... Nope, 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 nope. Fusion Strike was not it. It was not it. That is not what we wanted. Evolving Skies, the last pack of the last tin. Can we get something? As we have the different code card there. What is in this pack of Evolving Skies? Do we have anything? And is it enough to get us? No, it is definitely not. Well, that's another 12 tins in part two that have not led to profit. Um, please do like and subscribe to the video. Um, let us know in the comments whether you think we should go round three on these tins and chase down how many tins does it take to open to make profit? Thanks for watching, cheers.